Well, uh, we hit 90k. And I haven't made a Q&A in a while, and I thought I'd make one. And this time, I asked you guys if you would like to send me videos, and so I took 9 because of 90k. I really want to take off this hat, but I have really bad hat hair. What keeps you motivated to do YouTube besides your fans? Okay, so this is really hard because you said besides fans, because you guys are pretty much the whole reason why I keep doing this and I have fun doing it. I think I would have to say the outcome of the video because when I see like I did a very well put together video, I really think I'm not really a lot of myself. I'm not like cocky about it or anything like that, but I just like I spent a good amount of time on this and I'm really happy with the outcome and I would love the feedback. I mean, I can't say I love the feedback because you said that besides the fans, but it's the outcome of the video, I guess, is something that like I really strive for, for it to be like really good for me to watch and just like myself to enjoy it as well. If you could meet anybody in the world, who would it be and why? Six months ago, if you were to ask me this question, I would have no idea at all whatsoever, uh, whoever I would say that I want to meet in the entire world. And for me, when I say meet, I don't mean like I see him for a second. Like I spend like a whole day with him. Casey Neistat, if you guys don't know who he is, he's just a vlogger pretty much. That's like what he's known for YouTube. But I love him because he just, he doesn't care what anybody thinks and he just does what he wants to do. And that's something that in the past couple of weeks, especially I've strive to do and each day I've learned like from his videos and everything that I need to keep doing that because other people's opinions on me should not matter and there have been instances in the past couple of weeks where like somebody has been talking to me in some way that I don't agree with and I'll speak my opinion and later on I just kind of completely forget about it and I just don't let it affect me and that to me has made my life a lot easier and that's why I would love to meet him he's just he seems like a great guy and it's not only just that it's he I would love to get like his work basis is also another thing because he just he seems like he works so hard on everything and he knows what he's gonna do like every single moment of the day and he just wants to keep working hard and that's something that I want to do and he lives a way I especially want to live he lives off of what's what he wants to do and that's something that I very much want to do advanced warfare or ghosts black ops 3 no just kidding okay so I pick aw for trick shotting as weird as that sounds and I would pick ghost for sniping. What is your favorite sport? Even though I played baseball for like 15 years or something like that, I, I would have to say my favorite is basketball. Baseball, I did enjoy it and I liked playing it, but it kind of got boring at the end and I, I honestly couldn't really watch it. I thought it was kind of slow. As far as like basketball goes, the momentum is always there. Along with football, I do enjoy football as well, but basketball is something that I personally really like playing and also watching. Did you have any goals when you first started YouTube? Did you think you were gonna get 100K or what? I hope you didn't get pulled over while driving while asking that. I get this question a lot and I would have to answer it. I never thought it was gonna happen, but I've always wanted it to happen as weird as it sounds hitting a hundred K for me is like hitting a million I that probably makes no sense but it's something that to me just is like was unfathomable at the beginning and now we're just so 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 close and that to me is like a lottery ticket not a lottery ticket like winning the lottery and it's not like millions and millions it's like a hundred thousand and but that to me when I've reached and when I've reached those six digits will be just something mind-blowing to me I read random uh, I love you bro and uh, what's your favorite video that you've ever posted in your whole entire life there have been so many videos that I've spent a long time on and there has been a lot that I would have to say are my favorite it's really hard to say my favorite but if I had to pick one it would probably be my week with phase video just because that is a video I never thought I was ever going to be able to make. The whole entire time I was there, I was just thinking, I can't believe like I'm in the same room as these people. They've been people I've been watching for a really long time, and now like I'm talking to them and I'm having conversations, and we're just like chilling. If it had to be a Call of Duty related video, I'd probably have to say my campaign trick shotting number three. I spent so much time on that video. It was a Halloween edition. I just felt like it was one of my better it videos that I edited. That to me is probably my overall like favorite Call of Duty edited or even just Call of Duty video video in general. What are your plans for 100K? So for 100K, I'm planning on basically a week of just very very amazing 
big video, so it wouldn't come out right when I hit 100k, hopefully a little bit after. I'm not working on one right now, just because I know 100k is still a little bit out of the way, so just not yet I'm working on it. But I already have like three or four video ideas for them. Uh, one of them that I'm already going to mention is basically a all-out best moments of absolutely everything I've ever done throughout zero subscribers and a hundred thousand subscribers. Hey Random, keep up the good work though. Are you planning on going to college anytime soon while doing YouTube? Uh, I still have not figured out if I want to do it yet in the position I kind of am. I've basically given myself like a time limit of how long I would keep doing this. I'm not going to really say how long that is um, just because it, I think people will like assume like that day I would quit or something like that. Uh, I'm not like I'm definitely not but I just uh, I'm giving myself like an actual goal to reach at a certain amount of time and if I don't reach that goal then I would uh, go to college because that is like something I should be doing in the situation I'm in but I wouldn't just like completely quit uh, YouTube has taught me like a lot of things in terms of like getting ahead and that's one of the things like I never learned in school I was very bad at and I feel like if I would go back to school that would be something that I would definitely strive upon is because I was uh, I do that every day now I'm ahead of a lot of things that I never would have imagined of myself being ahead of work was like something I didn't want to get ahead of and definitely I really don't 100% see myself do it, then that's why I want to keep working hard on this is because I want to make this happen so bad and I know if I just keep working on it, I keep having fun, I keep having a good time and I keep just working hard, it'll happen to where I don't have to go to college. Now in the future, if there are some things that I want to work on that I want to get better at, I might take some classes here and there so I can get even better at them so I can have like opportunities of getting a job like somewhere else because I know like these, you know, like, everything that I've made through my videos is a good opportunity for, like, other works and colleges and things like that. If you could live one moment in your whole entire life over again, which one would it be? As nerdy as this sounds, I would relive the moment when the day I put out, not the day I put out my OBRC, but the day that uh, I joined Obey, that, that 24 hour time span, of just like mass growth and just the fun time that I had just talking with everybody getting to meet like people in phase and all big clans and everything uh, and especially joining red as well but just like that like 24 to 48 hour time span I just felt like I was like in another world it I couldn't even comprehend it and I just had every single second of of that time was just amazing. I know that sounds stupidly nerdy, but it's just that was that was pretty much like the changing moment in my life when everything just like kind of came together. And it wasn't even just like YouTube and stuff like that. During that time, it was like my family was starting to become like closer. I started getting like a lot more more social uh, than what I was, and I started having like a lot more fun in my life from like the, the kind of down times I was having. So a hundred. And 50,000 percent or 99 or 90,000 percent. Yeah, but thank you guys for 90,000 subscribers. Uh, it means, don't get me wrong, it means the world to me. But when we reach this next 10, that's going to really, that's going to uh, pull up a tear or something. Uh, this is nuts. I love doing what I'm doing and I want to keep working hard on it. Thank you guys so much for the support. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.